Making Fruit Wines, William Hovey Smith, 2010. When most people think of wines, they think of things like this photo, and they also think of grape wines. But there are many other products that can be used to make wine, including watermelons and tomatoes and other stuff. Now, in the southeast, we have a hard canning pair that I use. Now, I'm the author of Backyard Deer Hunting, and besides deer, we talk about using a lot of other natural products. This is an abandoned pear tree, and as you can see, this poor tree is just breaking down with fruit. There's a lot of product here. These are not edible pears, or at least ways not until they freeze. These are used to make pear preserves and many other pear products, but can also be used to make a wine. Here you see it as a finished product. It's a nice, good, clear, good-tasting wine with a little sharp bite when it's fresh. I take my pears, peel them, remove the seed, and boil them down to make a pear sauce. Now, this pear sauce is a good product in its own right, but I use this as a base for making my wine because it ensures good fermentation and a sterile product. When I get the pear sauce done, it's put in a food-grade bucket, and the yeast is added, as well as considerable amounts of sugar. For eight pounds of pears, for example, use five pounds of sugar. So that's a lot of sugar. But that ensures that the fermentation goes through. And you do get the taste of the pears here. It's not just sugar fermentation that you're getting. So the product is good. I also salvage this crushed pear product after it's fermented and make a bread out of it. Here I am decanting the wine. It is now been allowed to ferment in that vessel you see on top for months before it is done. So this is a finished product and it's ready to bottle and ready to drink. While it's still evolving CO2, you, you cannot bottle it. Now here we have with pear sauce that's canned as well as poached pears. And both of these are very fine products. Now you can make pear pies, you can make a pear relish, you can make the traditional pear preserves. So these pears will yield a lot of products besides wines. Now you could also use peaches, like these wild peaches here that I gather from abandoned trees around my farm, or even persimmons. Persimmons make a fine wine or a beer, and these also do very well. There's a lot of product out there for you to use.